Hi friends, it's Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I want to show you my server, which is the companion piece to my china cabinet that I featured in a previous video. My mother purchased both of these pieces, which are by Henry Don, in the early 1970s. And she wanted to go along with her china cabinet, a server, not a buffet, not a sideboard, but a server. And it has some unique features that I'm excited to show you. I'll also show you what I store inside in these drawers and in these lower cabinets, including another china pattern that I inherited from my mother called Noritake Armand. Here is the Henry Don catalog from the early 1970s. I flip over to this page, I see the china cabinet here and right here is the server with its walnut and hickory veneers trimmed with mahogany moldings. And I love how she has in her handwriting that the server and the china cabinet together were $825. So as I said before, this server has some really good storage and I use it mainly for my Noritake Armand china and also for placemats and napkins. So I know exactly where to find those. In these top drawers, I have some placemats that can all coordinate. I have cream and deep red and I have napkins here that are in the deep red. Same pattern on these so they can be used together. Beneath those two drawers, I have this big wide drawer that is divided into four sections. So over here I have some bamboo placemats and I actually have these really fun little coasters. Um, they are very old, but I, I do use them and they can actually kind of be reused if they haven't gotten soaked. So I have those. Here's another one right here that's more of a pink color, really pretty. And beneath these napkin rings, these are actually the only napkin rings I have, but they're, they're very versatile. I have this little table runner right here that my husband got me in South Korea when he visited. It's a small table runner. It's more like a dresser scarf. And over on this section, I have these pansy paper plates that look like there was a problem with the dye job on these paper plates. I got them on an, an incredible clearance at a drugstore that was going out of business. And I love pansies, so I couldn't resist these. So I'm kind of saving those for a special occasion. And I also have my Easter napkins in there. In this section, I have some blue and white napkins and I have a tablecloth that matches these. And I have a tablecloth that matches these very old Battenberg lace cream napkins. And then I also have several of these linen napkins, also cream colored with a gray border. And over here in this final section, I have these napkins that match my everyday tablecloth and more blue. <laughs> blue is abundant in this house. These uh, plaid napkins are really pretty and I actually have two tablecloths that go with those. So I have a bunch of those napkins. And then these match my other daily use tablecloth, which is my red gingham. When I'm not using the surface of my server, I like to put decor on it. I often use a table runner. It also protects the finish. And I will remove these items so I can show you the top of it. This table runner is really special. It was a gift from a dear friend of mine and she got it in Austria. So I've pulled it out from the wall a little bit and that's so easy to do because it has casters. Yes, it has wheels to move it anywhere I want it to go, which makes it so convenient to use as a serving piece of furniture. Now here's the surface. You'll notice this slit right here in the middle. That's because this top opens out and it has little pull out rest for each panel. So this black surface right here is actually heat resistant. So you could put down a hot casserole dish, a hot teapot, even uh, a chafing dish with sternos. Anything that you need to stay hot can be on the surface without hurting the finish at all. And of course you can use either end for cooler items. If I wanted to, I could actually spin this around and this could be my work area, my supplies down here, and the other side could face my guests as I serve them. It would be a really great bar cart to have your 
different bar items down here, and then your guests see the other side. I'll show you. So here it is with the back side facing forward, still rolling around very easily. And if I need a wider surface area, of course, that's very easy to do with opening these side panels. But the best part about this is that I have access to all of these drawers and this cabinet back here in case I need supplies while I'm serving my guests. Here is the Noritake Armand China that I inherited from my mother. And I think she had great taste. She picked out this pattern. And I love how it has that very subtle gray background with the raised floral print and then the silver on the outside rim. Nothing on that inner rim. On the back, you can see the name Noritake Armand. The only exception to the eight place settings was that she only had two soup and cereal bowls. I'm not really sure why, but everything else is complete in that here are the bread and butter plates, which are really pretty. Also great for dessert. Speaking of dessert, these are like little dessert bowls, but they could also use for another side item. We have uh, this gravy boat it gets a lot of use at the holidays. Here are the saucers for these beautiful, very delicate cups, more of those little side bowls. And for her vegetable bowls, she chose oval, and I really love that. It's just a little bit different. Here's a divided one, and here's one that's not divided. Actually, she had two of those, so three in total. And the shape of those vegetable bowls match these platters. I have a really large one here. You can see my hand for scale, and then a smaller platter here. And I'll show you how I store these in my server. So here I am on the floor with all of this china around me. And usually when I'm putting dishes in here, I'm doing some squats, so I'm getting a great workout. I'm gonna open these doors so you can see the inside again. So on this wire rack, I put all of my teacups with these little hooks on their sides. And they kind of have to cradle each other a little bit but I'm really careful with how I do it so they are totally safe. They're kind of nesting in there. So after that, my dinner plates go on top, the gravy boat goes on the shelf along with the soup and cereal bowls. I have my saucers, putting them over here on this shelf. My dessert bowls, I'm stacking and putting under the saucers. And then I have my bread and butter plates on their side right there. Put them back just a little farther. For the vegetable bowls, first of all, I'm going to put down the platters over here and put the vegetable bowls on top. Here's that big platter. It has to go kind of catty corner in there. I'm gonna get it so it's not quite touching the bowls. It's close. And then I have some packing material that I like to put down in between these pieces that are stacked, the large pieces. So there's uh, some foam. I'm gonna put my other platter right there. And then I have my vegetable bowls with a little bit of cushioning between them. Of course, the divided one has to go on top. I'm laying some of this on that smaller platter. I have two pieces that I have just a scrap that I've saved. And so that cushions that. And I actually don't need the bubble wrap, but I might just kind of tuck it in there. 
just for some extra cushioning and I might move it around at different times. I use that extra space there to store some other items like these little trays that I use from, from the Dollar Tree. But um, mostly I put my china in here and other serving pieces. And I almost missed including my creamer and my sugar bowl. I had just used these pieces at a dinner party, so they were in the dishwasher, but they get stored up here as well, and I found one extra vegetable bowl. Thanks so much for joining me today as I've shown you my server, the companion piece to my china cabinet. And I have a separate video that has a full tour of my china cabinet, and I'll have that linked below. Please let us know if you have a server of your own or perhaps you're anticipating inheriting one. I'd love to hear about it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love home decor of all kinds, especially mixing the old with the new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I so appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.